In spite of resveratrol being a relatively new supplement, which has gained popularity during the last two decades, in fact, it has a long history of human use for medicinal purposes. How long, you may ask? Well, much longer ago than uh, 1981, when uh, Richard Cambien and Ducimetier published the article Epidemiological Characteristics of Coronary Disease in France. And even longer ago than 1819, when the term French paradox was first introduced by the Irish doctor Samuel Black. What exactly does it mean, the French paradox? What it simply means is that researchers have reported that in spite of the predominantly high-fat diet in the southern regions of France had a lower incidence and mortality from coronary heart disease. And the actual phenomenon was attributed to the moderate consumption of wine, which supposedly served as a source of resveratrol. Resveratrol is the main ingredient of roots of the plant called Polygonum cuspidatum. Medicinal properties of this plant were used in traditional oriental medicine for treatment of heart conditions and various dermatological disorders. But the actual origins of medicinal use of resveratrol go way back all the way towards Ayurvedic medicine according to which fermented grape juice was used as a remedy for heart diseases. There has been many positive effects of resveratrol described and to a large extent those effects are recognized as a result of the resveratrol acting as antioxidant. Well, indeed, resveratrol does prevent oxidation of the LDL lipoproteins, which is great because it is the oxidized LDL is the one that causes the endothelial damage, which launches the cascade of atherosclerotic changes inside the arteries. It also upregulates certain enzymes involved in the antioxidant protection. It has mild anticoagulant properties as well, which is also beneficial in prevention of atherosclerosis and thrombosis. However, all of these mechanisms of action are not that significant to produce some life-changing outcomes from the resveratrol supplementation. So there should be something else, and there is something else indeed. Resveratrol has the potential to extend the lifespan. It activates genes that encode enzymes called sirtuins. Sirtuins are the regulators of the DNA. They open up good genes responsible for longevity, wrap up and close down bad genes that promote diseases, and also they perform the repair of the damaged DNA. All that needs to be added to enable sirtuins to work is NAD a cofactor involved in electron transport inside the cells. Resveratrol inhibits enzymes that promote inflammation. Resveratrol is inhibiting the PI3K gene, which is involved in cancers, and upregulates P53 gene, which has the anti-cancer function. And last but not the least, Resveratrol activates MPK, which is a longevity gene, and we have already know the same gene is activated by the metformin as well. As the result of these biological mechanisms of action, resveratrol has the following effects. It's cardioprotective, antioxidant, anti-cancer, neuroprotective, anti-inflammatory, anti-dyslipidemia, and anti-diabetic effects. When taken in moderate doses, in higher doses, resveratrol may become toxic. It can induce cellular death and even promote atherosclerosis. Ability of resveratrol to produce 
androgen levels is beneficial for women with PCOS. However, those individuals who take medications like tamoxifen or any inhibitors of the cytochrome P450, as well as individuals who undergo various hormonal optimization protocols, should take precautions and consult with the expert prior to taking resveratrol. It is also maybe a good idea to withhold resveratrol while going for surgery or any treatment associated with risk of bleeding due to resveratrol's ability to act as a blood thinner.